This journey starts, as with all of you, in Oberlin. We all look a little dorky at the beginning, but hey. <laughs> Yeah, I was an enthusiastic computer science major. I came in and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do computer graphics and this is going to be awesome. I picked computer science because at some point when I was in high school, I started researching what it would take to get into the industry and my model was industrial light and magic. Because they did the effects on Star Wars. Which, as any of you who know me know, tiny bit obsessed. Tiny bit obsessed. But they have great visual effects and ILM is a great company. So I looked into their positions and almost all of them required a computer science degree. So I said, okay, computer science is what I'm doing. When I was a senior, I applied to go to this computer graphic conference, some of you may have heard of it, called SIGGRAPH, where I was a student volunteer. And the student volunteers, basically in exchange for about 30 hours of work over the entire course of the conference, you get to explore it for free when you're not on shift. So I got to go around and see what the emerging technologies were. I got to watch all the stuff in the animation theater. I could cruise the job fair. It's really a great opportunity. So if you ever have the chance to apply to go to SIGGRAPH as a student volunteer, take it. It's one of the best experiences you'll ever have. And this is where I found out about the job at Sony. I was actually on my way to another interview with DreamWorks at the time, which didn't pan out quite obviously because I didn't end up there. But one of the student volunteer chairs said, oh, hey, you're applying for this job with DreamWorks? You should check out this other one at Sony. So I said, okay. And he gave me the email address for Andrea, who was on the video and is now my boss. And I sent her my resume. And after a long period of doing a little programming challenge and doing an interview, I managed to get the job, which is great and awesome. And it was in early 2008, which is also, as some of you may recall, when the writer's strike was. And they assigned me to this crazy little movie called G-Force. That's where I started to figure out what my degree would actually be doing for me, and how much of my degree I wasn't using, and how much of my just general Overland experience I was using. Because as useful as a computer science degree is, and it will help a lot in a position like this, what really matters is, as I said, communication, your ability to interact with others, and multitasking, problem solving, digging out what could possibly be going wrong and finding a solution. That's something that all of those students should, in theory, be good at by the time they graduate. I don't know, maybe some people aren't, but I have confidence in Odin's 